Why I love podcasting and conversations is because when you are sharing stuff, you get setups that appear that you then drop information into, and you didn't know that you had that information, but it's not been needed in that verbal format or written format until the situation ar arises that that information solves. And it's only when that situation appears that you say those words. And that's why sometimes words come out of your mouth that you didn't realise you were going to say. I'm thinking my second cup of tea moment. Yes. That's what they are. I will be pondering and mulling and then I want to share something because just like you said something's emerged and it feels important. It feels important for the specific moment of that setup that has just appeared. It's important to express it. It gives it life and I think that's the thing that Michael Rosen talks about with words that you 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 form them you you give them their life and then they take a shape and it's their it's their own thing as well. Yes, and it's your speaking or writing that brings them to life or that gives them a solid form mm. or that gives them a form that people can then take from it what they want to take. Mm, absolutely. That's the power of conversation and it's also the power of writing. Do you know what is so nice is that we can actually have these conversations into the ether and people respond to them.